PC communication rules for reading data from OPC to the INSYS server. The OPC server and INSYS server must establish a connection via LAN, enabling bidirectional communication. It's essential to ensure that we can successfully ping the OPC server from the INSYS server and vice versa, confirming the connectivity between the two servers. LAN firewall configuration. Enable ICMP slash ping for bidirectional communication and check the network connectivity from both ends by pinging. Also, enable port 135 and ports 42000 to 65535 for OPC callback communication. Turn off the Windows firewall or add exceptions for OPC ports in firewall rules. Open Windows firewall advanced settings and turn off the firewall in the domain profile, public profile, and private profile. DCOM settings for OPC. Steps. For DCOM settings, click on Windows button and search for the component services. Open the component services, computers, my computer. Update DCOM settings for this node. Right click on this, my computer, and edit the settings. Under Security tab, add the above users in the Launching and Access Control settings and give all permissions. Add users everyone, interactive, anonymous, network service, system, administrators, and users for access and launching permissions. Under Identity tab, set it as Interactive User. For setting the interactive user open component services, computers, click my computer. In DCOM config, search for the client OPC server name and right click on it. And edit the settings. In identity tab, set the interactive user. After doing all configuration perfectly at network config, DCOM, firewall, authentication, etc., if you are still unable to get the OPC DA server connected to INSYS, try the following settings in local security policy, which might be preventing the OPC server to be accessed remotely.